Come on. Hello everybody and welcome to day 101 of me restoring this 2003 Jaguar S-Type 4.2 V8 Sport. Last time I was applying rust converter onto one side of the differential housing and now let's take a closer look at the result. That's of course the untreated side, I just want to keep up the tension a little longer. Already half an hour after application the golden surface turned into some darkish brown and when I returned to the garage one day later a glossy black surface had built up just as mentioned in the rust converter's instructions and voila that looks great but when I came back here yesterday I was devastated as you can see from close there are rust particles all over again this may have resulted from me not allowing the chemicals enough reaction time because I didn't apply enough rust converter or I didn't spray on water as recommended in a not wet enough or in a very hot environment. Of course it's only 11 degrees Celsius here and winter time. So I don't think this actually was the issue. On the other hand I did a lot of grinding here in the garage. So maybe metal particles just laid down here on the surface and corroded afterwards. However I will now clean up the housing using water. and alcohol and now let's apply an additional layer of rust converter this didn't take long now and I think it was a good idea because uh, there are a lot of golden spots visible and golden means bare metal. The surface should not be entirely covered. Of course, uh, that's an off-label use, not recommended in the rust converter's instructions. So I'm curious how this will turn out. While the converter is hopefully doing its job, I will continue on the front subframe. In my latest community post, I asked you how many tools I will come across when doing a big cleanup here to celebrate the first 100 days of working on this project. You may want to answer to this post or leave your guess underneath today's video. The winner will be announced in my The First 100 special episode and may also receive a little reward. I just dropped my straight grinder and this part was loose. Yeah, let's lose again. Some time ago I used uh, this wire wheel adapter on the front subframe and wasn't happy with the result at all. So now let's give my straight grinder and this abrasive wheel a try. Yeah. Seems there's some damage inside but it's still functioning. There's still some pitting here close to the edge. Come on. Oh, no good. Squats, editor. Ever got your straight grinder. I guess this edge has been enough to apply rust converter.
I put on a little bit more this time and now let's see how this develops. At least it wasn't me who gave up today. The downside is that I will have to invest in a new straight grinder until next week. If you enjoyed the video, you may want to give it a thumbs up or even subscribe. See you back on my channel. Goodbye.